Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to have a look at the British pound, the US dollar British pound, in the light of what's been going on with the uh, Brexit chaos that's uh, happening in the UK at the moment. Uh, this is of a follow-up um, uh, video on what I touched on a couple of days ago for potential support levels for the British pound. But as usual, we have to start with our risk disclaimer. I just remind you that all examples in these videos should be considered hypothetical. No trades are actually taken. They're just shown for illustration trading purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of uh, loss in trading and investing. All professional traders know and understand that there'll be always losses no matter what trading approach they do. So they have to not only know that there will be losses, but they have to accept that there always will be losing trades. Right, let's move forward. As you can see, the British pound has rallied strongly over the, the last couple of days uh, since uh, we're trying to rule out a new no deal Brexit over here in the UK. So let's go um, back and have a look at this. Now remember with MT Predictor, it's not a black box system. We don't take these signals just blindly. We don't do that because we know that markets are random. In other words, about 50% of the time or just over half the time, there's no clear clean pattern. So to define a clear pattern, we go to the higher time frame chart. This is normally a time frame between three and five time frames higher. So if you're looking to trade on a four hourly chart, as we have here on this um, cross rate, you'd go out to the daily chart. Now for this, you place DP support and resistance zones, but the beauty is these go on the chart in advance. So if I just use our training mode and I jump back, say a week or so ago, right back to here, you can see there was a pivot low here. So we just right mouse click and we do decision point. Can you see how this gave us a potential support zone, but how that support zone was on the chart in advance. This is what you have to do. You have to prepare in advance. If I turn training mode off, you can see what the, this, the British pound's done. It went down to that support zone and that's where it rallied strongly. So let's have a look on the four hourly chart. So this is what it looks like here, is that the market came down into this level. Our MTP trend confirmed this by going from red for a down trend to grey to show you in the process of making a reversal. So in other words, at this point in time, the picture had become clear because not only our MTP trend was signaling a reversal, but also the market was at higher time frame support. In other, in other words, everything was coming together to give you a clear picture. So if I use our training mode and I jump back to that bar there, you can see there's our VS setup. So that's what it looked like at the time. Our MTP trend going gray at major support with our VS setup. So now we right mouse click on this blue buy bar, do analysis, and there's our trade or potential trade setting up. Remember we use correct position sizing to vary the number of lots, contracts or shares, in this case uh, uh, lots, to keep our initial risk, in this case less than 2% of a sample $20,000 account. But you can obviously uh, adjust your currency and adjust your account size uh, as well. Uh, remember we're not projecting where markets are going, we say if it goes up to this first target, the potential profit would be 3.7 R or 3.7 times greater than the initial risk. So if we turn trading mode off, we can see exactly what's happened. The market has rallied strongly as this no deal um, legislation is going through our House of Commons and the market has indeed rallied, but rallied right up to that potential profit target just there. So as you can see, a good example of how to use MT Predictor to first of all anticipate support zones in advance. But that's the most important thing. These are on the chart in advance. They're ready for you. So prepare you in advance for potential support uh, resistance zones. Then we have our automatic trade setups that when they come in, in around these support and resistance zones, it means the picture's clear. In other words, we're looking to, to then trade off the shorter term signals because everything's coming together to tell you the same story. In other words, the picture's clear. You're coming out of the random phase. We then use position sizing to keep our initial risk small and hopefully over time have profits that large, but not just large in dollars, but large in relation to the initial risks. So there's a good example of um, this unfolding on a Forex chart, the British pound US dollar, and as you can see, we caught a lovely trade as the market rallied off that daily support right up into our profit target when all the chaos was going on in the Brexit uh, negotiations. Uh, there was no chaos with MT Predictor, a nice, clear, clean signal, and as you can see, a good result 